Addressing both the houses of the parliament, President Pranam Mukherjee outlined Narendra Modi government's agenda with top focus on controlling food inflation and Narendra Modi government are also putting terrorism, trade and tourism on top priority. Modi government also encouraged FDI in defence production. The country needed a strong and stable government that could provide effective leadership. In my Republic Day speech earlier this year, I had hoped for 2014 to be a year of healing after the fractured and contentious politics of the previous years. Standing here today, I applaud the wisdom of my fellow citizens for having voted for stability, honesty and development in a resurgent India in which Corruption will have no place. They have voted for a united, strong and modern India. Ek Bharat, Shrest Bharat. My government will work to fulfill these aspirations. My government is determined to rid the country of this scourge of corruption and the menace of black money. As a first step in this direction, the government has already constituted a SIT to unearth black money stashed abroad. This will be followed by vigorously, by proactive and proactively engaging with the foreign governments, keeping in mind that justice delayed is justice denied, my government will adopt a multi-pronged approach to address the problem of high pendency of cases in our judicial system. Document of disjointed assertions. There is nothing concrete. For instance, this, uh, the president does not explain. It reflects very badly on the cabinet because the president did not give even a hint of how the uh, you see, what is the model for growth? If they want, if they want more growth, what way? There is, there is no. Do, see, any any hint towards is not there. Then the president also did not mention about the inclusive growth. Okay, let's get a more perspective uh, from Bilal. In fact, who's been tracking that story for us? He's joining us live. Bilal, you know, the president outlined a lot of things on Narendra Modi's agenda. In fact, in the next hundred days, whether it's about terrorism, it's about corruption, it's about foreign policy. But why is the Congress looking so dissatisfied? Okay, so initial reactions coming in, the Congress has reacted dissatisfied, of course, but at the same time also laying the foundation for what we can expect for the next couple of days when, when the entire vote of thanks takes place in both the houses. Now, at this point, of course, we understand as far as the Congress is concerned, their policy continues to be the same. The way they took on the, the, the NDA manifesto to begin with and the entire campaign, they're saying that there is no mention of any particular model that will be followed. There are buzzwords, there are keywords, there are mantras being spoken about, but nothing specific. Now, beyond that, we don't really know whether we will see uh, similar voices coming in on, in both the houses, whether all other political parties are going to question the, the speech. But at this point, one thing is very clear. What happened today in the House, the speech that was given out by the President has a strong undercurrent of all the promises that were made during the campaign phase by Narendra Modi. The fact that all of these buzzwords, all of these campaign catchwords have been incorporated in the President's speech, now that's a clear indication that the message that's, sending, that's being sent out right now... और इसी विशेषता के कारण आज राष्ट्रपति जी का भी भाषण में गंगा का उल्लेख हुआ है प्रधानमंत्री जी स्वयं गंगा किनारे के सांसद हैं गंगा माने ही उनको वहां बुलाया है और उनकी प्राथमिकताओं में गंगा स्पष्ट हो गई है इससे देशवासी बहुत प्रसन्न हैं we will pursue our international engagement based on enlightened national interests, combining the strength of our values with pragmatism, leading to a doctrine of mutually beneficial relationship. My government is committed building a strong, self-reliant, 
and self-confident India regarding its rightful place in the Committee of Nations. My government sent a unique and bold signal to the South Asian region and the world by inviting for the first time in independent India leaders of all South Asian neighbors to the swearing-in ceremony of the new Council of Ministers on May 26. We are grateful to them for accepting the invitation at such a short notice. Their participation as also the gracious presence